New York Comic Con, AKA Entertainment. Ladies and gentlemen, coming in, middleweight champion of the world. That's right. I put him on the spot. Ray Comics, T. J. Sterling. How we doing over there, boss? Boom, I'm doing fantastic. What's up, everybody? TJ Sterling, Ray Comics. Uh, my comic book series, Alchemist, is a sci-fi martial art action story about a young black man that has a latent superhuman ability that could potentially save the human race. Want everybody to check it out. You can find me online at raycomics.com, R-A-E-comics.com. I'm glad to hear. What are you seeing in this year's con than the other ones? To be perfectly honest, this is some of the most love I've ever received here at the show. Um, New York Comic Con 2019 was a milestone year for Ray Comics. It marks our fifth year at the show. We also got this dope ass helmet that I hope you all check out. This bad boy right over here. I saw this the other day on IG, and I said, yo, wait a minute. Is that T's? I thought it was something else. I said, no, that's his. I say. All day. All so, day. It'll be, a, it'll be a side show soon. We know that. Tell me, for one, why is woman in comics here? Why why are we why are we here? Why are we, why do we have our section and why are we taking over? We always take over. That's what we do. <laughs> That's what we do. Well, we're the Women in Comics Collective International, Wink for short, and we always have a booth here for Comic-Con. We've had it for, I want to say, about the last five years. But before that, I used to table by myself at first, and then I started tabling with a good friend of mine, Jody Tong, who's here, and she has her books as well. But at a certain point, once Women in Comics came together, we decided to open up our booth space to other members who weren't able to get into Artist Alley because there was a long waiting list so we sort of just said hey guys like we have this space who needs to come in who wants to sell their things and here we are now so Lauren is this your first time at Comic-Con yes, it is oh my god. <laughs> I found the version with me oh my god yeah. Give me I am a veteran of cons like women in comics <laughs> and I am a loyal supporter of Reiji tell us about She-Hulk because this is my first time seeing a black woman at She-Hulk well, I am the Jennifer Walters version. If you follow the comics, she is a powerful lawyer for the Avengers. When they get in trouble, she bails them out. And that way I can be a little bit more modest because I'm a lady, you know. Check out my meetup, the NYC Cosplay Meetup. I'm one of the organizers. Our next event is Diversicon in October 25th. What's up, it's your boy Jeff Strange right here, Strange in the Membrane, down for Eggheads Entertainment. We are here interviewing all the cosplayers right here, as we see here at New York City Comic Con 2019. As you can see, we got some denizens of the deep right here. All right, and who are you today? Today I'm Orm. Aquaman's brother. Mm -hmm. The bastard child, Adriel. <laughs> and who are you, man? Princess Mara. Uh -huh, see. Who is one of the hottest characters that DC has ever produced. <laughs> I mean, how long did it take you to get your costumes together? <laughs> you said that kind of nervous. It took about four months. Four months? Yes, forever. Said, wow, four months. I see you gotta love it. See, look, even somebody's celebrating bubbles right now. See, they're like, they just love you. Oh, that's for me, actually. That, that's for me, actually. See the, see, the Ocean Master has spoken. I've heard that there's like, there's a trend called the Snyder Cut. It stands for the Justice League Director's oh, Cut. Oh, here we go. You're gonna start some politics already, but gang. Okay. Oh my God. Yeah, I yeah, don't know. Yeah, I don't think it, no, no, no. It stands for like the Justice League Director's Cut. Uh, there's a trend going on at New York Comic Con, and I heard that today there's supposed to be like an event in Times Square that they're gonna put billboards up. So it starts from noon until midnight. I'm searching for some Snyder Cut, you know, supporters right now. I got one yesterday, and you know he's pretty supportive. So I want you to know, and so you support the Snyder Cut? Yeah, I basically. do. And I also like the theatrical cut as well. But you know, it's kind of interesting to see the Zack Snyder's original work. Okay, okay, that's a lot of money. I don't know if at t going to do it, but it's good to see you guys out here. Enjoy the con. We'll see you Thank inside. You. Okay, yes. So release the Snyder Cut, Warner Brothers. Do not be insecure. What's new for Young Justice, or can you tell? Well, I can't talk about any of the plans for season four, other than that I get to be a part of them. I'm. Uh, I previously have drawn tie-in comics for Young Justice, but I hadn't previously worked directly on the show, but as of season four, I'm going to be working on the show, and I'm really excited about it. Hey, I'm, I'm just glad it's finally here. Oh, and like, <laughs> hey, hey, DC, pilot, that needs to be a series, for real. This was dope. You need to make this a series. So what, is, what inspires you the most to draw? Uh, my brother... Well, read a lot of comic books. So what I would do when I was younger is I would like steal his comic books and I would just trace them. And I Little would, sisters. Yeah. <laughs> I would just trace them and I love the um, 
the powerful woman that was in these comics? The Walking Dead in New York City. It's impossible, isn't it? No, it's not. How are you? Good. How, you doing? How we doing? Good. You know who you look like? Who do I look like? There's a guy on the show that looks like you, but he's leaving. How you feel about that? Oh yeah, it's all right. We'll see him again soon. It's all right. Uh, some people cry for months. Look, 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 she was just crying. I was not happy about it. I was not happy either. So you think you can you can jump on a set and pretend that I, you're I like a lost clone brother or something? I think I, I think I could. Yeah. Oh, I think I think that'll work too. New York, New York is amazing. Comic Con is wow. It's wow. That, that's that that's that Kryptonian accent. That only Kryptonians have, y'all. That's that Kryptonian accent. This your first Comic Con, second, third? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this, this is my first Comic Con, my first time in America. Who do we have here today? My name's Abby. I'm cosplaying Crowley from Good Omens. All right. Do, do the wings work? They open and close. Would you like to see them open? Oh, yeah, we want to see them open. Come on now. Okay. See the hard work that goes into cosplay? That's why we always respect cosplayers on go. our podcast and everything else. That's beautiful. Thank you so much. That's beautiful.